Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and as you can see, I solve a lot of puzzles here on YouTube. The specific puzzles that interest me most has changed a lot over time. I started with a strong interest in escape room games, and then I became interested in puzzle hunt puzzles around the time that I started my channel. And more recently, I've been doing a lot of variety cryptic crossword puzzles, as you can see. But today I thought I'd go back to my roots. About two years ago, I ran an event over on my social media pages called Match Wits Monday. Essentially, I picked an easy online point-and-click escape room game, and then I challenged my followers to see if they could get a better score than me. But today I'm challenging myself by going back to one of my favorite point-and-click escape room websites, Games2Jolly.com. Not to be confused with Games for King, Games to Mad, 8B Games, Games to Escape, or WoW Escape. Those are all completely different websites, and they're not the topic of this video. Now, back when I used to play on their website, Games to Jolly posted a new point-and-click escape game every day, and as you can imagine, that means that they got a little bit repetitive in terms of sprite usage and the puzzles that were included. But since it's been over a year since I was last on this website, I thought that I would check to see how much I remember about playing through games like this, and I'm going to challenge myself to complete three games in 10 minutes each. I don't know how much the website has changed since I was last here, but 10 minutes was usually about the good goal to set for a speed run of one of these point-and-click games. So that's what we are doing today. If you happen to want to play any of these games yourself, I'll leave a link to this site down in the description. Okay, which of these games looks like the best one to play? I see a treasure here. Let's start with a treasure hunt. Gold Treasure Escape from Forest. Okay. Now to keep me honest, I have a timer that is going to be in the top corner here. All right, let's go. Um, interesting. We have a paint by numbers helicopter. I picked up this ball. This looks like some combo uh, down, up, down, down. Uh, okay, so here's our down, up, down, down, up, up code. Um, teapots. I wonder where the teapots go. They go here. Uh, I think that one goes there. <laughs> Is this one wrong? Okay, there we go. Um, I picked up all these items just now. <laughs> and there's another one. Oh, I got a shovel. Can I can I dig a hole? No. Oh, I have this wheel. Where's the wheel go? Uh, the wheel goes here, I think. Flashlight. Can I shine the flashlight in the hole? No. Can I shine the flashlight in here? Down, right, left, up. Down, right, left, up. Cool. Oh, here. Magnet. What can magnet? Magnet here? Oh. Okay, so here's these colored numbers. I need to add up, I think, the numbers in these colors here. So red's 24, green is 27, and you know what? I'm just going to try the other two options because <laughs> I'm speed running. Okay, I think with these bottles, there's only one brown one, there's two green ones. So I think that's the code there because there's three of the other kind. So one brown, two green. This paper. The blue word is kiwi, and I saw that I needed a blue word in this tent. Now I have my last diamond. Key for this sign. A knife for this. 8693. Where does that go? Here. Ball. Okay, there's our last ball. Right, left, left, right, right. Right, left, left, right, right. Okay. Book. The heights in order go 2, 4, 1, 3, from shortest to tallest, 2, 4, 1, 3. Hook. Hook this. Ah. Okay. Hey, we got the treasure! That was under five minutes! <laughs> game score of 5,000. I wonder how what that's based on. Okay, what game do we want to try next? Let's try House Escape. So the official title of this is Pink Wooden House Escape, because we already escaped from Red Wooden House Escape, Pink Metal House Escape, Blue Wooden House Escape, Turquoise Wooden House Escape, and Pink Cellophane Wrap House Escape. All right, let's start up the timer, and here we go. And what's in here? 3412. Collecting all the items at the beginning is usually a good way to go. Is this my 3412? Yeah. Three's triangle, four, one, and two. Okay, bunch of hexagons and colors and numbers. So gotta add them up again, I think. Blue adds up to 20. And I'm just gonna try the other two. There we go. What is this? Fill up my balloon? Oh, it says more. The more is gonna go here, I think. The light switch goes here. 
Purple, green, blue, yellow. Purple, green, blue, yellow. Another bow tie. More stuff. What's in this note? So it looks like it goes A2, C1, D3, B2. Okay, that was this grid over here. A2 is two people's heads. C1 is the uh, nuclear symbol. D3 is two arrows pointing at each other. So I think that's gonna go here. I need two faces, two arrows, and then something, okay. Dog, person, cat, key. Oh, is this, do I put dog, man? Oh, run. I think that person's running. Oops, I passed the U. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm in a cycle. Yay. Okay, so we got a knife. Uh, open the water. Up, left, down, right. Down, right. Okay, got the last peacock, got the last plug, and we're out. It's like four minutes for that one. And what should I try for game number three? Human organ for transplants? How do they come up with these games? Should we try the, the human organ escape game? Find the human organ escape. I wonder if we have any idea what specific organ we're looking for? Like, are we looking for a liver? Is this a kidney? I'm gonna believe it's an ear. Somebody needs an ear transplant and they need me to find the human organ ear in order to uh, get them that surgery. <laughs> All right, let's start the timer and get going. All right, so we are in the creepiest hallway that I've ever seen. I don't think it's great to pick up pills that you find on the floor of random hallways. I also have syringes, more pills, and I got these skulls now. I'm also picking up random teeth that I find on the floor. I think our protagonist of this game just has a few issues that they need to work out. They are way too willing to pick up syringes, pills, and teeth off of the floor. Okay, it looks like the skulls go here. Oh, there's these signs. So the first one is shush. The second one is don't talk. The third one is no talking with people. And the fourth one is don't punch yourself in the face. Don't do that. So we had shush, no talking, don't talk with people, punch yourself in the face. Uh, it looks like my screwdriver can open this. Up, down, down, up, up. Up, down, down, up, up. Okay. I also have to count these pills. So we have four green, three yellow, and two red. Four green, three yellow, two red. Okay. Do I have enough teeth yet? The protagonist's search for teeth is insatiable. We aren't satisfied with just one or two teeth. We need all the teeth. Blood types. A, A, B, O negative. This one was O negative, this one was O positive, and then that one. Uh, I get an x-ray or something? X-ray. Don't drink. <laughs> Especially not like this person. They have a bottle in their rib cage. At least this game has a positive message, you know? Telling people not to drink is very responsible. You, you can pick up all the syringes that you find because you might need them but don't drink. And we found the human organ in just under five minutes. Okay, so that was three games from Games to Jolly's website, but they also have links to games from a number of other websites. So I think I'm gonna try just one of those before wrapping up the video. Games for Kings Badness Lemur Escape Game. That lemur doesn't look bad at all. They're just enjoying a watermelon. A badness lemur lived in a forest near a terrible village. The badness lemur came into the village in search of food. By mistake, the badness lemur was trapped in a cave in that village. It is your duty to rescue the trapped badness lemur. There are many clues hidden inside the village to save the badness lemur. Congratulations on winning the game. <laughs> we did it by rescuing the badness lemur that was trapped. The game is very interesting and challenging. Thank you all for the joy of playing with everyone. One. Good luck and have more fun. True facts. Uh, what do we have in this one? We have colors. Green, pink, yellow, purple. Green, pink, yellow, purple. Okay, oh, okay, we got some pentagons. We need the green one over the- oh, I can't do that. It got mad. The whole world shook when I tried that. Uh, goodbye, vase. <laughs> We are going to rescue that badness lemur. These games tend to be very linear. Five, two, nine, four, six. Where do I put that code? Here? Five, two, nine, four, six. Okay. Uh, do I hammer this barrel? I do. Mushroom. What do I do with matches? In the fireplace? Oh, nope, there's just a code on it. 
owls. A spoon. Where do spoon? The bird goes here. Give me an egg. Still don't know where spoon. Egg. Spoon egg? Spoon egg. Do these go here? Oh, they do. Oh, there's colors in the background. Okay. Egg and a leaf. Leaf says 2856. I don't know where that goes. Oh, it's the sides. So we go 2856. 4261. Where does that go? I keep getting these number codes and having no idea where to here. Four, two, six, one. Okay, butterfly. Uh, okay, so I gotta do this apple puzzle. So we have, what? This one goes over, oh, no, no, don't make the world angry. What goes up top? Smiley face, this one. Angry grinning teeth, tongue to the right. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, it says we're live. I didn't know what the timer did when I, <laughs> When I ran out of time. There's the last butterfly. Is this it? Have we have we rescued the badness lemur? We did it! Well, that was exciting. <laughs> so pet your badness lemur. Don't pick up random syringes off the floors of hospitals. And as always, happy escaping. <laughs>